This is Artifax Mars, and you're going to love this one. This guy on YouTube, Chuck Netzhammer, asked him to make a, flag, a cake with a Confederate flag on it, and Walmart refused. So then he asked him to make one with the ISIS battle flag on it, and they gladly accepted. Now, Walmart has apologized and blamed it on some poor clerk that they claimed didn't know what he was doing, which is horse dung. Uh, they know full well what they're doing, but they don't, they don't even have the balls to take responsibility as a company. It's not some poor clerk's fault. Their company, uh, screwed up. After all, this guy got a rejection letter rejecting the Confederate flag one, but they happily did the ISIS flag one. Don't tell me they didn't know what they're doing. That's BS. Nobody but a third-rate moron would believe that. Anyway, but that, what this shows is, I gotta commend this guy because what this shows is there's a growing acceptance of ISIS in this country. Uh, it's in academia, it's in, ac it's in the private sector, it's everywhere. Your country's becoming Islamicized. See, Obama is one shrewd cookie, I gotta give him that. You see, what Obama has been doing is been uh, dropping bombs in specific areas, sp purportedly on ISIS. But, listen up, uh, what do you, what's the easiest way to make somebody want something? You try to take it away from them, right? So, Obama is playing, I believe, a psychological game. Getting people to, uh, want ISIS more and more <laughs> by dropping bombs in specific locations and acting like he's trying to uh, do away with him. When he's not, he's... We have public figures, Michael Savage, even Limbaugh is questioning it. They're saying, okay, maybe ISIS belongs to us. They're actually our army, which I agree with. You know, we have public figures saying this. So, uh, basically, we're being Islamicized. But at the same time, the uh, press is, you know, joyous over the homosexuals being allowed to marry that Supreme Court decision. At the same time, they're joyous over that. We're slowly being Islamicized. And that does not speak well for our future. It's known that the uh, Muslim Brotherhood has a number of members in Obama cabinet, apparently. It's all through this country. Oh yeah, uh, Obama is a Muslim. There's no question. He's well known in the Middle East as being a Muslim and a Kenyan. They don't even question it. I mean, here Americans can't seem to figure out what he is, but over there, he's well known as a Muslim. I mean, you think uh, getting one of these white people in there next time around, if that happens, it's not going to change anything. Unless you get a Christian conservative uh, like Ben Carson, he would be fine. I've already endorsed Trump. Uh, but unless you get a Christian conservative in there, most of these idiots probably continue the gradual Islamization process. Tough for me to say. You're in trouble, people. You gotta wake the hell up. We gotta retake this country.
We gotta throw all these sons of bitches out of office and get some people with traditional American values in there. I'm talking Republicans, Democrats. Take a look at this. I'm gonna bring another uh, site up if it comes up. It's actually the same site. Alan West thinks he got Sharia law at Walmart. He's almost refused service over the cashier's religious beliefs. Claim that he later admitted was a mistake. Uh, the cashier uh, wouldn't serve him booze, but it turns out it was Walmart's. Uh, policy not to serve those under, uh, not to uh, have those under 21 sell beer, which is, again, that's BS. I used to work in a retail environment, so I know that if you're 18, you can sell it. So that is BS. That is bull slap. So he may have been Sharia, I don't know. Point here is, you know, Islamics, there's Chuck's net, Nets hammer. Islamics are moving in. I believe ISIS is ours. Uh, it's terrifying to think about. That's terrifying to think about. You know, my video that I did uh, sh showed an attack by ISIS on the United States and how well, they got out of control. So I did a video on that. Uh, it was fiction after the attack started. It was called Infidel, the Fall of America. It's the name of it. Coming to a country near you if you don't wake up. We've got to remove all these sons of bitches from office and basically redo our government. Thanks for watching. This is Artifacts of Mars.